Did you know that Miskwazibi means Red River? Well, Daniel Marlett does, and he is the owner of the Misqua Art Gallery. He invited us out for a tour of his studio. Hi, my name is Daniel Marlatt, and I'm a gallery owner, an artist, and a photographer. And welcome to my Misqua Studio and Outdoor Gallery, located in the beautiful Trent Lakes. We've been here now about five years, moving from Richmond Hill, Ontario. I was also an artist there, involved with a lot of art organizations. I always like to promote artists. The reason we came out here is due to some health issues. We ended up selling the house and I originally wanted to live on a lake. Uh, my grandparents had a cottage in Halliburton on Halls Lake and the excellent memories growing up, canoeing, fishing. And so we were in the market to look. I was originally going to head out to Aurelia to be in a large art community and that's where I want to be. But then when we were looking on the internet, this property where I am now just popped up found it intriguing and interesting. And so my wife and I came out, take a look at the property. When we first pulled into the driveway, I felt immediately at home. This, this was my home now. I didn't, didn't care to look at the house. I didn't care to look at any of the, the buildings that we had. I left everybody and went down to the river, stood there and just the chills just surrounded me. I knew I was home and I had to be here. The Miskwazibi River has a lot of history, a lot of spirituality. The indigenous peoples, the Ojibwas, used to have settlements up and down the whole river. And actually Miskwazibi translated is Red River in Ojibwa language. And they brought that name back again. So I knew I was immediately home. My wife then came down to the river and she says, what do you think? And I go, I want it. She says, but you want a lake. I said, lakes are nice. They're beautiful. You get beautiful sunsets. You watch the water lapping on the shoreline. You can head into a canoe or a kayak, but it's still the same. A river has a different sound every day and it looks different every day. Now I'm in my element. My artwork is reflected into what the art speak, the river speaking to me. And as you can see with all the different elements that I use, the rocks are actually from the river, working with the wood grains, allowing the wood to actually speak, show movement in the art pieces. So I've been doing this since I've been here. And I'm daily, I'm, I'm inspired every day I go down to the river. I'll sit down there in the evenings after dinner I have to definitely bring my phone with me because I will fall asleep in 10 minutes and my wife has to give me a call just to make sure everything's okay and when am I coming home? 500 feet away. So that's how I ended up here. Now I've got this, originally I wasn't thinking of having an outdoor art gallery. I came out and I just wanted to be involved with all the art organizations in the area. And then one day I was just looking through the forest and I was thinking, you know, there's different ways of showing art. You can do an art fair, you can do galleries, you can do all that from which I've already done in the past. But looking through this beautiful space, I felt I had to share it with the many people that are around. Just because I'm blessed to have this area, I enjoy people coming out to enjoy it with me. So I set up the outdoor art gallery. I have some grids set up in amongst nature's shaded canopy. Keeps it cooler in the summer when there's a hot summer day. Nice breeze going through, you hear the birds, the trees. So it's just the whole ambiance of the outdoor. And that's where I'm uh, unifying art with nature. So the grids are all set up through the forest. Um, they're not nailed into the trees or screwed into, the, they're just basically carefully wrapped around the trees because I really respect the trees in the area. And so where people can wander different areas that I have set up outside, feel comfortable, social distance properly because we all know of what's happened over the last year, there's a lot of concern. And there's a lot of concern with other artists too. So I started the outdoor gallery approximately four years ago with eight artists. One year I had 30 artists and that was way too much to manage it because it's an outdoor space and you have the environment around you. So now I cap at only 15 artists that come back 
year after year after year. They love having their art seen by people. I have known Dan Marlette for many years. Uh, somewhere between 15 and 20, we met at the Richmond Hill Group of Artists. I've watched him from baby steps in doing uh, plaster of Paris or drywall carving to this most exquisite work. Delicate, thoughtful, creative, really beautiful work. Everybody has to see this. What he has built here from nothing, this outdoor gallery, it defies words. It defies everything you have considered about a gallery. So the idea is to get in your car and find your way here to the Misqua Gallery because it, it will surprise you, intrigue you, give you the most powerful jolt of nature and art in one place and the Misqua Gallery during COVID. He has just blossomed. He has made everything as beautiful as he could and he has built the Misqua Siebly Man, which is a magnificent sculpture. And when you see it, you'll thank me for giving you that oomph to come out here and visit. What we also offer here is not just an art show. This is an experience that I invite people to come out. They can enjoy the artwork, and then we have a little pathway down to the river where I set up chairs, where people can just sit and just relax and decompress. And we've seen so many people come out, arms crossed, looking like this. But as soon as I see them come back from the river, open arms, smiles, they really enjoy the experience. And that's what we really offer here. And that's what I like to promote is the experience of being here. And we get a lot of people that have visit two, three, maybe four times in one summer with friends and family. They got some friends coming in. You got to go see the art gallery. We got people in Bob Cajun and Buckhorn that'll overhear somebody say something. Have you ever, see, have you seen the outdoor art gallery? So that's something that is now growing. Um, and I'm very happy, happy with the people. I don't want to be overwhelmed with a lot of people from the city coming up. Um, but other than that, it's my, it's my best advertising is word of mouth. People tell people that tell people. And that way it's shared that way. I don't spend a lot of money on advertising. It's the word of mouth. I'm also I'm pleased to say this year I've managed to get on TripAdvisor. And that's in things to do in Buckhorn. So when people do come out, I'll suggest if you maybe want to just take a quick look. Maybe share your experience that you've had here. And that way it, it helps me to tell more people to tell more people. I'm on social media. I have a Facebook, I also have a website, and that's where I'm just growing over the years. A nice, slow, steady growth. One thing I wanted to share with you as well is our upcoming events that we have here at the Misqua Studio and Outdoor Gallery. Every year I have what's called is the Open Air Art Show and Sale, and this year it's the Open Air Art Show and Sale 2021. And we feature 15 artists, most of them local, show their artwork all through the canopy. That goes for the entire month of July and August. We're open every day from 11 till five. Um, if the weather is an issue, being an outdoor gallery, we do have a space for which I can still showcase artists' work under my art port, which is actually a car, car port. And the people can still come by even if the weather is overcast. We always, we always offer the enjoyment of somebody that comes in just to see what's going on here. Uh, another thing that I have coming up and I'd like to share with you as well is this will be my fourth year on our Victoria County Studio Tour. We have artists from all over the area. These are all this, the spaces all through the Kawartha Lakes and we showcase all the artists that are in the area. And I am number 20 
on the list. And this year I thought I would do something different, is I'm inviting two guest artists to show with me this year instead of just doing the show myself. Again, sharing other artists' work. So I'm going to have a, a, a painter bring in her paintings. And I'm also, for this year, going to have a photographer. And I thought I'd like to, to share some photography with you as well. Um, some people feel that photography is not an art form. As far as I'm concerned, being a photographer, it is an art form. You know, you've got to get composition. You've got to have subject matter. There's a lot involved with taking a photograph. And I'm looking forward to having a photographer this year. And it's going to be great. So the dates are September 25th, 26th, and October 2nd and 3rd. So it's for two weekends. And it's from uh, 10 till 5. And my latest project now is my Misquazibi man. He stays down by the river. And he is my public relation officer. And he is also my head of security. He loves meeting people. He loves having his picture taken. He has his own Facebook page now. And so I'm just gathering all the friends that he's had, that he's met, the different experiences he's gone through. And that's something I'm really excited about, this, this Misquazibi man translated, the Red River man. And you'll definitely check him out. 